Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Apex Legends video. And today we are continuing the number one series where we are interviewing and also showing off the talents of the number one players for each and every character in Apex Legends, according to kills. And today we are joined by the number one horizon on all of Apex Legends, all platforms. He has over 51,000 kills. That is going to be Krusty Toes TV. If you guys want to go give him a follow, every single social will be in the description below. Make sure to do so. He's an absolute grinder. Without further ado, guys, we are going to hop into the tips in just one second. All right, guys, and before we actually hop into today's video, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is going to be Glitch Energy. If you've not already heard of Glitch, they are an energy brand. They have supplements, they have powders, they have uh, merchandise, they have shaker cups. Like I said, if you've never tried it before, I would highly recommend starting off with the starter kit, which is only $14.95. It comes with seven unique flavors. And with my discount code SWEAT, okay, use SWEAT for 25% off. That's going to bring that down to only $11 for seven flavors in a shaker cup. Guys, that's a steal. And I would recommend personally ordering the Granny Grenades. Oh my freaking God, that flavor is so good. They just released it. It's like a green apple flavor. I personally love it. I drink it almost every day, and I would highly recommend, guys. So head over to their website right now and get yourself a starter kit, like I said. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Krusty Toes TV to the channel. Okay, 51,000 plus kills on Horizon. So first question, really, uh, my channel is largely based on tips, so I'm sure a lot of the audience is going to want to know. Uh, how do you play Horizon? What tips do you have for new players and such on dominating with Horizon? Yeah, I mean, Horizon definitely changed a lot this season in comparison to like her other two seasons she came out. Mm -hmm. uh, last two seasons, you could be like very aggro. That's why a lot of people were like were calling her like the new Wraith and stuff because like you could be like you can get into a fight and just like queue out, kind of like the like Wraith phase essentially. Like you could just. Like you have escape route basically that's what i'm trying to say you know yep uh however now with like the nerfs like it's a lot freaking slower so like if i'm in the middle of a fight or i'm getting thirded and i queue like there's a high chance i'm gonna get beamed out of the air because like it's really slow dude like i i understand like, what they're going for i wish they would have nerfed it a little bit lower you know like uh like i wish i could go a little bit faster in there but like if you're getting thirded like that you can't really rely on queue anymore as much as you could like you get a, it's a little bit more gun based uh, fighting nowadays with her, mm -hmm. uh, with her Q. You get, you get a little bit more smarter with it. Like if there's a team coming, maybe like what I tend to do with it, it's like I'll throw my Q down, and usually like the casual player or like or players in general will, like start looking up in the air because they like think you're gonna be taking it. So realistically, you can just throw the Q down and like pop a bat, and by the time like they realize, oh, he's not taking the Q, you can actually take the Q up and like. By the time you're halfway through it, you actually pop the bat in there. Especially if you like playing Horizon for a while. Like you, you know the sound the Q's gonna give out. So you can just like jump off to like a roof or something, you know, like somewhere kind of far away. So you can have like that little distance in between if you still need to heal up or you can just need a distance to like, if you have a bruise on your earth, you're one, you know, you can beat them from far. But mm -hmm. you can do that a lot. I tend to do that a lot where I just like go up and down my Q until I know it's gonna go out. And then I'll just like jump away and like, uh, like either shoot from distance or like play around when I need to keep like healing um another one i mean i've noticed a lot of people have, like learned this one but like her ultimate like usually i recommend like using arc stars um yeah <clears throat> they're all um usually like what i tend to do is that like i don't try to use on only one person because i feel like it's kind of a waste you mean uh, unless like i'm trying to secure that like fight and like i know like either it's a good player or, like i'm just like trying to get out of the way because like there's nothing coming so i'm just trying to like get it over with but usually i try to use in like groups of people uh whether it be duos and trios like i'll throw it on the cluster of people and then like i'll throw my arc start where they so you usually want to throw the arc start where they were not where they are going to be at because that way like when they get sucked they're gonna to have to run back yeah. to the spot usually they run where they just came from so usually if they're in front where they show you were they'll run back in that direction and like run into the uh, arc star and usually you can crack i mean yeah usually you crack all of them or you crack at least one or two you know well how would you go about a horizon buff what would you change about her to make it fair but yet make her better like her not being able to strafe as much like i fully understand that like that made kind of sense to me because it was kind of fair that like i consider myself a decent player so like anyone who had like a good horizon um mm -hmm. like uh, kind of abuse it because you could just strafe all the time you know when you're on it and like you could, like when she first came out dude like she was an easy one be through character like you could just 
go up your Q, strafe like you know a thousand freaking times and like pop a bat and make it and you can just drop down and knock one and you know you know keep doing that over yep. and over again yep. so that makes sense however i do think they should buff her uh going up speed just like tab it doesn't have to go back to where it was just like a slight little fast would be nice because i find it like she isn't like very complimentary anymore like mm -hmm. i can't like i I never, I never see her anymore in rank, really. Okay, sounds good. Are you ready to hop in the lobbies and dominate? I don't I guess so. I, I guess, guess so. We need the confidence. Come on now. You're going to dominate this. Easy. First game. Rising Q door play, high IQ. Yeah. yeah, you see, I try to do that. Like, if it's, especially if it's like two or more. Like, if, like for example, I'm playing deals now. Yeah. Like one was up, and like I was pretty low. You can throw the Q like here, like usually like right here, mm -hmm. and you can't get them, like. You can lift them up on the other like, side too, right? Yeah. Yep. So you can just literally push them back, and then they're kind of forced to push through one side only, which can be kind of like rough, but. If you've done it right, you can play it really well. Yeah. Try to go for that MD swap. <laughs> uh. I don't know. Usually I try to land like hot. Yep. And, this is a good like, spot to land. Me. Yeah, usually I land here or like. Gardens. Yeah. yeah. Sage, energy. Mm -hmm. uh, solar. Like, usually those are tend to be hot for me. So, usually I land there if I'm solar down. Now, if you're on the queue and then you catch yourself mid queue, like mid fall again, like you said earlier, can you mm -hmm. strafe at the top for two seconds again or does that not even work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of use it and, like, keep strafing there. I mean, I usually try not to stay in the air. I feel like. Making it look easy. Go. Mm, it's kind of nervous. My gun reloaded there, like twice. I think I got a lucky uh, little peek to shot off. No way, he's not getting that off twice. Good stuff. More damage for you. That's all they wanted. They just wanted to beef <laughs> your damage numbers up. Oh, he didn't have to What the hell? 
I think you shot the uh, the other one that got re or didn't get rest. Oh, the horizon. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. makes more sense. I was like, in my head. I was like, I could have sworn I knocked that. <laughs> Heck is this guy doing? And does not miss. Tell him the sense. Uh, I, I'm, I, really, I play in a really slow sense. I play 4-4. Four, four. Okay. That's not that slow. Um, I used to play. <laughs> I used to play all default when I before I got really into the game. Okay. I feel like I prefer a slower sense. Uh, I don't think you necessarily need like the high sense to perform really well in this game. True. Your game awareness is uh, there. But which yours seems to be very, very high. You play rank this like every season or you just grinding kills this season? Uh, I used to play rank. I used to be just like a rank player all the time. I, like, I, never, I never really touched bugs. To be honest, at the back of the time when I like playing rank, I used to like I thought like kill grinding was kind of dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was like, wow, you have like, I'd be like, yo, you have like, twenty blank like kills on like whatever character you know, and like yep. you, you lost to me like five kills on like my like my race like. <laughs> I don't know. Like I used to think kill grinding was pointless, but now like now that I do it, I kind of see the, the fun or like the reason people do it. Um, it's, I feel like it's a lot more casual, like in the sense that like, you can like conversate and, like. Just be having gameplay in the background, you know. True. Getting like games and rather than rank, where I'm like, I'd be like, hey, like, uh, give me a second, chat, like all the time. I'd be like, give me a second, give me a second, because like I was like focusing, you know, like yeah. making sure I was in like a roof or something. Uh, whereas this, it's more like casual, and like, I could care less if I die, you know. Is the die go, the main reason you do it for uh like social media exposure though, or do you just do it because it's more fun now? Uh, I find it more fun. I really don't enjoy ranking as much as I used to. Okay. A lot more stressful. Um, especially a lot of my homies who played rank with me, like, quit. So they're either playing, like, Warzone or, like, another game. Yeah. So it's a lot harder for me to find teams. And I, I was just bored, to be honest. Like, I really was going to, like, sell my cat at one point. So I was like, ah, oh, like, I have no, like, reason to play this game anymore. Like, all my homies are gone. Yeah. This character is gonna come on. I was like, hey, like I'll try kill Grang. I've never tried it before, and I was like, it could be fun, I guess. And at the time, I think I was a junior in college, and she came out, so I like grinded her a good amount, and then I was like top three or no top four for the long, for, like the first like couple months. Mm -hmm. uh, I was up there with like Rain, like unhealthy. I forget who the oh Votra, I think his name was. Like he was up, he was number one at one point. Uh, so like I actually had fun because it was like kind of gave me like a ring pops and since it was kind of like competitive like, very, yeah competitive I enjoyed that I was actually gonna go for uh Valk I was thinking of like grinding for Valk as well just because once I realized like everyone gave up besides me and Yakuza like it was kind of like eh like do I really want to keep grinding a character that like doesn't have that much competition like I think third is uh HBM and he gave up Wow, well, I actually have a little nine on. That looks like a bloodhound on my screen. <laughs> oh my god, good stuff. Smart, very smart. Yeah, I was really hoping she would run towards it. Got this light work. He might have self rose though. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Oh god. Yeah, I have no fucking shields. Good stuff. 
Oh my god, you're totally out of everything? Every bat? Everything? Oh, oh no, god. did that hurt? Yeah, I didn't have anything. What the heck? Good stuff, though. <sighs> we wasted no time. Yeah, First game on. Champions. Just wins. <laughs> you are officially the fastest win I've had. Nobody's done it in one game. Yours first. Yeah, to I was, do it. I was, I, was part of that. I was like, I really don't want to take like freaking like twenty games to get like that one game, you know? Yep. So I really hope I just get like a game, you know, like as fast as possible, and just so I can like not like have to worry.